So we've all been impacted by the COVID-19 virus over the past year and a half, a little over a year and a half. And there has been both good and bad that has come from this virus. And with respect to the PA profession and PA school and just healthcare in general, there are some good things that have actually come. And I think that that kind of also goes across the board, not just healthcare as well. Like it's becoming more and more acceptable for online classes and online schooling to happen. Um, it's also becoming more acceptable or you're we're just more aware that hey you know individuals can be efficient just as efficient maybe even more efficient at home doing their work than they were in the office and as such uh, there is a push a move to tele remote work slash telemedicine and telehealth and so I got a question about that very topic and so that is what I'm going to be talking about in today's video. Let's talk about telemedicine. What's up you guys, it's Sidon. Welcome back to my channel. So I, again, I'm gonna be talking about telemedicine, but more so telemedicine and telehealth while it pertains to the PA profession. Uh, obviously I am a PA, so that's what I'm gonna be talking about. If you don't know anything about my channel, take a look around. If you like what you see, go ahead and subscribe. So I had a question posed by one of you all and the question said, I heard you can work as a PA online telemedicine. Is it actually possible? And if yes, do you have to get a separate degree for that? So, um, you know, we can like kind of titrate or break down this question and I can answer the different parts. So is it possible to work as a PA in telemedicine? Yes, absolutely. It is absolutely possible. And there were these jobs prior to COVID-19, but there are so many more now. Um, and I just want to like, just kind of make it known that this is not just jobs that are remote now only because they're kind of transitioning back to the office space. Uh, but there are lots of different models. Okay. There are some people who have jobs as healthcare professionals, more specifically PAs that are like 50% remote or 75% remote. Uh, there are others who have it that are 100% remote and you're doing telemedicine in terms of primary care or mental health. And that is where I've seen a lot of PAs and NPs kind of make their mold um, in the APP sphere when it comes to telemedicine. It's typically in a primary care setting or dealing with um, the men like mental health scope. So with respect to that, yes, there are many jobs. There are also jobs where you can be doing like after discharge from a hospital that you're kind of talking to or, you know, speaking with the patients to just ensure that they don't necessarily have to go back to the hospital prematurely. Maybe that's something that you can help them with. And I've seen jobs like that listed as well. So there are various different types of um, telemedicine and telehealth jobs available for uh, PAs. But the majority of like the things that we would do apart from just your primary care or urgent care uh, is, is it requires you actually being in with the patient and seeing the patient. So for me as a trauma PA, I cannot do telehealth. I can't do telemedicine only if I was doing it at the clinic. So we do have a trauma clinic where any of our patients that have come into the hospital as a trauma, uh, that maybe we have done some type of procedure on them or you know surgery on them, uh, after they have been discharged from the hospital, they do come back to clinic because there are many, vi many visits after you've left the hospital that you may have to check on wound care and things like that. And so they come back into the clinic. And as a PA, I could do clinic telehealth visits as well. But again, if you need to actually see things, see the wound, um, you know, address the wound, all of those various different things, then you might have to come in. So yes, first answer to the question is yes, 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 it is possible. And also like, like just really quick caveat, quick break. I want you guys to come back on Tuesday uh, because I do have a, a new school that I will be, be doing on Tuesday and it will I'm not even gonna give it away. I'm not even gonna give away what school I'm, I'm gonna be talking about on Tuesday, but it will be live. And then I will be talking about another school on Friday through Get That C University and that will be live as well, okay? So just be sure to like join me in those different scopes. And also, your girl hit 40K. Like, can we like 
give ourselves like a round of applause, you guys. This is all you. Like we did this, okay? I didn't do this. We did this. And so I'm super excited about that. Super excited about hitting 40,000 subscribers. Um, this is only because of you guys. So thank you so much for that. Um, love each and every one of you. Let me get back to that question though, okay? So also, the question asked, do you have to get a separate degree for that? No, okay? So like in the PA scope, um, separate degrees, secondary degrees, more certification, that's not like really a thing, you know? We are trained as generalists. We deal with like primary care, urgent care, uh, emergency medicine, you know, surgical PAs. We, we're trained in all of those various different scopes so that we don't have to continuously go and and get more training, I guess you can say, through extra schooling or more certifications. Now you can get certifications on your own if you wanna just have that piece of paper that says, hey, you know, I'm trauma certified or um, I am ICU certified. You can find various different fellowships that you might wanna take part of and, and things like that but it's not necessary. So to do telemedicine and telehealth, no, it is not necessary for you to get a separate degree. However, what is necessary is that you get other more licenses, okay? So to work as a PA um, in telemedicine, sometimes you're seeing patients in like another state. So if I'm in the DMV area, but I'm seeing patients in Florida, or I'm seeing patients in Pennsylvania, I'm gonna need to have a license for Florida and a license for Pennsylvania. And so that is the only caveat, and obviously licenses cost money. So you're just gonna have to be able to spend that money. And sometimes the, the telemedicine group or the locums group, if you're doing it through locums, uh, they will pay for your licensure, uh, but sometimes they don't. And so that is just an extra cost that you may have to incur, okay? But that is it. You can work in telemedicine and you absolutely do not need to get a separate degree, okay? So thank you so much for asking that question. Thank you guys so much for joining me on this journey, y'all. We at 40K! <laughs> so excited, um, really excited about that. I wanna thank everybody. I wanna thank my husband because he's just been great support, but like legit everybody, just thank you guys so much for you know staying with me on this journey as we continue to go through uh, this PA life. Thank you guys. Um, if you have any other questions for me, leave them in the comment section below. Uh, if you already haven't done so, go ahead and like this video, subscribe so we can get some more subscribers in the bank and um, you know, tell your friend about us as well. Tell your friend about me and, and the channel and follow me on Instagram and on the PA and on Instagram at Get That C University. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will talk to you guys next time.